Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the configuration options of the RPM generator. In the previous tutorial, you were introduced to the basic functionality of the RPM generator. This tutorial covers more advanced options provided by the RPM generator for calculating revolution speed information. Open a file or mark with the RPM generator by right-clicking on it and selecting Open with RPM generator. Besides the manipulations you would use in your data viewer diagrams, such as the zoom function, the 3D diagram of the RPM generator allows you to specify the detection area. The detection area defines in time and frequency the section of the signal for which the revolution speed is to be calculated. Move the mouse pointer to the top edge of the diagram until an arrow button appears. By moving the bar, you can narrow the detection area for the revolution speed, thus accelerating the calculation. In this example, we want to determine the revolution speed curve of an electric motor. Go to the Order field and enter the number of an order that is clearly visible in the signal representation. Then click on Mark Prominent Order. In this case, the low frequency tonal component is the eighth order. You can specify additional orders to improve the accuracy of the calculation. As we can see in the FFT versus time diagram, another order is clearly visible. To identify this order, you can use the harmonic cursor. You can access it with a right-click in the diagram. Move the cursor to the corresponding position in the diagram, and you can identify the additional order as the 32nd. After a double-click on the 8th order on the scale, only the multiples of this order are displayed. You can now enter the additional order under Additional Orders. In the Order Definition settings, you can configure settings regarding the expected revolution speed curve. The Variable setting is suitable for varied revolution speed curves, such as signals with both rising and falling slopes. The Volatile setting is particularly suitable for quickly changing revolution speeds. In our case, we will use the Constant settings, since the revolution speed curve is rather steady. Start the calculation with a click on Start Detection. The bottom diagram now shows the calculated revolution speed curve. With these buttons, you can increase the number of supporting points for a better modeling of variations in the order curves. Before saving the generated revolution speed information to an HDF file, you can assign a name to the new channel and, if desired, narrow the section to be exported. Click on Save HDF file to create a new HDF file or to overwrite the existing file with the newly created revolution speed information. In the following example, we want to create a revolution speed channel for an electric motor sound again. First, specify the detection area and adjust the representation in the diagram. Mark the order and try different settings for the calculation of the revolution speed. In this case, the volatile setting leads to the best result. For some revolution speed curves, it may not be sufficient to use only one setting to acquire the complete revolution speed curve of a signal. In this case, you can use the detection area to specify the time and frequency section for which the calculation is to be performed. This not only improves the detection result, but also accelerates the calculation. You can also process individual sections of the signal with different settings using separate detection zones. The detection zones from which a complete curve is to be produced must touch each other or slightly overlap.
the revolution speed information is joined together automatically from the different calculations. The various detection settings allow you to quickly generate revolution speed channels from visible order curves or to supplement missing information in existing revolution speed channels. Afterwards, you can perform RPM-dependent analyses with the newly created data.